Hi, I'm Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times on Thursday, January 7th. Let's talk education if we're going to talk news in Arkansas today. Education Week, the magazine, is out with its annual Quality Counts Survey of Education in the United States, and it finds Arkansas grades out at a C-. minus. That's below the national average. We actually do a little bit better in the achievement category than we do in financing and another category that looks at circumstances of families and the types of education that we offer to address early childhood problems. So it's sort of a mixed bag. The Walton Family Foundation says it's going to spend $1 billion more billion in the next five years to create more charter schools. It's already spent a billion in the last 20 years. Critics say these uh, charter schools haven't necessarily demonstrated they've done a good job. The Waltons say they're, they're going to push for more accountability. It's certain that a lot of charter schools have harmed conventional public school districts by draining off better students. The Supreme Court of Arkansas today said it would not rehear its decision to dismiss a lawsuit challenging the takeover of the Little Rock School District by the State Education Board on account of some failing schools. Elsewhere in the news, uh, the Little Rock police have charged both a 16-year-old and an 18-year-old in a bank robbery of a Bank of America branch yesterday in which a bank employee was wounded in the shoulder by a gunshot bla uh, shotgun blast. The shooter was a 16-year-old, police say, and the getaway driver was a young 18-year-old woman. Also at the Supreme Court today, the Supreme Court cleared the way for another hearing at the circuit court level on life convicted murder Alvin Ray Williams to get a chance to introduce evidence that he was denied in his first trial in 1994. He's turned up evidence that there was a defense witness that said he indeed acted in self-defense. A prosecutor did not make that information available to defense at the time. Attorney General Leslie Rutledge has moved into strange territory along with another, a number of other attorneys general from other states. She's going to intervene in a case in North Carolina that concerns a woman from New York, a Marine who was disciplined by a sergeant for dis continuing to display Bible verses on her desk. The Attorney General of Arkansas portrays this as a religious freedom issue, which it may be. Uh, dealing in religion cases in North Carolina is not part of the statutory duties of an Attorney General of Arkansas. But the, actually, when you look into the case, this is really more about a good, good order and discipline in the Marine Corps, at least according to the court that heard it there. But Rutledge and others want to make a religious case about this and, and seem bound to do so one way or the other. Senator Jeremy Hutchinson is before the Little Rock Planning Commission today where they're expected to give approval to a proposal by him and some business partners to turn the historic Packet House on Cantor Road next door to the Dillard headquarters into a private club. There's some ethical questions about whether legislators can offer or, or receive entertainment at such a private club. Clearly it's in, in enticing to people at the nearby capital to go to such a place. Hutchinson is working with the Ethics Commission on that matter. The Packet House was built by carpet-bagging former U.S. Senator in Arkansas, Alexander McDonald, back in 1869. It's a final place that hadn't succeeded much as a restaurant. If you want to read something important about uh, the extension of Obamacare in Arkansas through the Medicaid expansion, go to ArkansasBlog.com and read what David Ramsey has to say. He's the most informed writer in Arkansas today on medical issues. He explains how Asa Hutchinson is not really talking straight with legislators, which some of them acknowledge, in saying that we've got to cut Medicaid spending on people in nursing homes and, and, other, and other vital services so that we can pay for the Medicaid expansion. Not really true. We're making money on the Medicaid expansion thanks to federal money. A couple of small points. I said Verizon Arena had new security rules in place and that they included no more purses in the arena. One day later, they changed that to say, yes, well, we will allow small clutch purses. I was about to say for women, but of course, men can also carry a small clutch purse if necessary. You can take a diaper bag too, but they'll be searched. <clears throat> and finally, a note from our neighbor to the North Missouri. Legislation has been introduced there that will define sex between a lobbyist and a legislator as a gift and thus reportable under ethics disclosures laws. Sex from a legislator to a lobbyist a gift or is it vice versa? I don't know. You make up the joke. I'm Max Brantley. I'll be back tomorrow.